Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and right in the middle of a project, I found a better way to animate bullet points. This is animated bullet points in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, so if you've used Keynote on the Mac, PowerPoint on Windows, or any other kind of slide-based tool, you know that bullet points that build one after another are pretty easy to do. You type a bunch of lines, you add a build animation, and it does it all for you. Well, video programs don't have that. After Effects doesn't have it, Premiere Pro doesn't have it. So I would normally build them up like this. Let's go have a look. This is the normal way I would build up these points. Canada. One title, Illinois, another title, GRCA, another title, Wellington another title, County, and another and title. Welfare. And you realize, oh my God, the spacing is off. Uh, now you've got to deal with five separate elements here instead of dealing with one. So in the middle of that project, the second time I did my bullet points, have a look at this. This is one title. Comprising the tool shop, the temporary storage, the weigh scales, the crushers, the stockpiles, the washing pond, and the silt. If I only have to deal with one title and I don't have to align them, and I could change the font and the spacing and all of that, then this is more like a slide application. So again, let's go back to the other one and look. Each one of these is a separate title. Double click on it, and it's gonna open the title designer, and we get to see the title inside. Okay, so that's nothing new. Each one of these being its own title. Let me just resize that and place it over here. And boom, there they are. So let's open up the other one and we'll see all of the titles. And over on the right hand side, my letting is right here. So that makes it easier to change. So I drop in this full title, one title. Well, why doesn't the whole title show at the beginning? That's because I'm using a mask. If you don't see masks, it's time to upgrade. So here's the deal. If you normally use a regular mask, let me show you what happens. Let me save this as a preset. And let me get rid of all of my keyframes. And here's my mask. So. Let's say that I'm going to animate this mask with different points. So at this point, I'll click and add a mask path, and then I'll go to the next spot, select the mask, select both of these in the bottom, hold the shift key and move it down. So it looks like it's doing the same thing, but this is what happens. The tool shop. The temporary store goes from one to the other. And maybe you like that. Maybe you like revealing that. When I've worked with producers, they usually get distracted by that. They don't expect it, first of all. And even if you put a soft edge on that mask, it's not really as effective as point, 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 point. So how do we do that? Let's go back to what I had before and zoom into these keyframes. So I'm just gonna drag this at the bottom and zoom in to these keyframes and look what's going on. So this is my initial keyframe. The first keyframe says that the mask is there. If we jump to the next keyframe, the mask is in the exact same spot. If we jump to the next keyframe, it opens up. We jump back one, closes up. If you make two keyframes one frame apart, then they function like a hold keyframe. There are no hold keyframes here for masks. If I right click on a mask, you'll see all of these are turned off for masks. So you can't get a hold keyframe. If I had a hold keyframe, then what I would do here is I would put a hold keyframe on each one of them and it would jump, jump, jump to, to the next keyframe. But when you just have a linear or Bezier keyframe, then it will interpolate slowly, which we've seen here, we don't like. So here's how I put this together, um, where I went to the next keyframe, the next place, I added the second keyframe first. So I went to where I want the mask to move. 
I added a keyframe, so, and you do that by moving the mask. As soon as you touch the mask after you have one keyframe, you now have two keyframes, but you have interpolated keyframes. So once I had that, I moved back one frame, and if you're zoomed in here, if you move this one frame, boom, all I would do would be copy the last one, so that one right there, copy that one, and then with this gone, that's not even there, you just paste it in, paste, and now you've got that same thing. So the, the keyframe before is the key, the, so this keyframe is the same as the previous keyframe. So instead of interpolating, it's the same. It moves over one frame. So let me just undo and bring all of those back so we can have another look. The and you can see how that builds. The Boom. Scales, the Boom. Crushers, the Boom. Piles, the Boom. Washing pond, and Boom. The salt it might seem like a little extra work here, but once I figured out how to do it for the first one, I copied and paste this in probably, well, less than 30 seconds. A heck of a lot less time than double clicking opening up a title, making a new title, double clicking, open a new title, new title, new title, place the title in, position the title in, uh, and then if somebody wants changes, then it's a giant pain in the butt. Now, if I do change the letting on this title, if the overall letting does change, the position of the mask in the keyframe will have to change. But that's pretty simple because I would just jump to next keyframe, move the mask, jump to the next keyframe and move the mask. The bottom line is this, if you did a whole uh, interview or God forbid a whole freaking documentary where you needed to do this and now your titles are every single time a full screen of titles comes up, it's one title. I don't have to tell you how much time this is gonna save. Even for me in this project, which was 15 minutes long, after I, I realized I didn't have to do the titles the old way, do them this way, I zoomed through this project very, very quickly. And you can right click on the opacity and save this as a preset. So maybe you've got the same kind of uh, thing going on over and over again, then maybe you can just copy and paste the titles. You duplicate a title, not copy and paste, right click, duplicate, and then uh, save your preset for your mask. And all of a sudden, boom, you type the words. It's almost as fast as if you had the same build effect from a slide program. All right, whew, hopefully you found this informative. <laughs> I know I did. I'm never going to do titles the same way again. And uh, if you're new to, to Video Reveal, take a moment and uh, subscribe. We really love all the support people are giving us here. We're almost at a half a million views. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, if you want to take your support up a notch, join us on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Mm -hmm.